let's make the enemy cube shoot bullets to the player. Add a 3D sphere into the enemy cube. Scale it to be smaller than the enemy cube. Move the sphere away and add a new material. Apply the material of the bullet. Change the color. Create an empty object that will be called spawn point. Make sure to add the bullet to the prefab folder. Now add the rigid body of the bullet object and hide the bullet from the enemy cube. The next thing you should do is to open the script. Serialize field, private float, timer. Timer is always the same value and it's not public. Private float, bullet time. Void, shoot at player. This would be a function that contains these lines of code. If bullet time is larger than zero, it returns the value. Bullet time is equal timer. Game object, bullet object. That's the way how we define a bullet from the spawn point. First we have the enemy bullet, which is a game object, with a reference from the enemy. Then we need a spawn point, which is a transform, even though I made it as empty object. Then the spawn point transform rotation as game object can define the bullet to be shot at the various angles. Rigid body category and it gets component from rigid body. The next line is bullet rigid body add force. The bullet rigid body transform forward with enemy speed. Define the float enemy speed and destroy game object. Don't forget to call function shoot at player. Save the script and go back to Unity. Insert the values of timer and shooting speed. Oh my god, the bullets are too small, I can barely see them. What should I do now? I should enlarge the size of the bullet, make it optimal, like this. And try again. Now it looks much better, but the speed is too low. They are too slow, I need to enlarge the speed. Set enemy speed to 1000. Well, that's a big number, but at least it will help. Now I'm making an obstacle with one 3D cube. Shut down the mesh render, copy and rotate them. The last thing you should do is to destroy bullet if it touches player. If other game object tag is equal to player. And destroy game object but no it won't work you need to add the bullet script to the bullet prefab instead of adding to the enemy object now the bullet needs to check if it touches the player copy and paste the script as i defined before and change bullet obg to game object instead of saying on collision enter say on trigger enter save the script and go back Check is trigger to make collisions work. Player must have a player tag to make it work fine. Now, as you can see, it works fine. But there is a lot more to do to make it look like a real game. Some things like point system, damage to the player and game over. 
will be in the next videos. I will make new videos whenever I am available. Goodbye.